So I'm here in southern Germany uh, visiting family, and uh, Tante Gitti uh, provided me with a nice uh, bicycle to do some exploring on. And uh, one of the places I've wanted to go was Grosse Kornberg uh, in the Fichtel Mountains. I always want to kind of check out the uh, former army surveillance tower there. It was used uh, during the Cold War to uh, intercept Russian communications. There's also a pretty cool granite tower, uh, Schoenberg Tower. So here I go. All right, that's where I'm heading, Kornenberg. So check out the solar panels, quite a few on some of the barns and houses here in southern Germany. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, there's Kornberg. And notice there's not much space on the side of the road. So this is a pretty cool snowboard and ski facility here um, on Kornberg. And uh, I've been here during the winter time. They get quite a bit of snow. Pretty sure this region is known as the German Siberia. So uh, there's some nice powder. Uh, about to head up the hill on the mountain bike. All right, almost there. All right, pretty close to the top here. So there it is, the Spy Tower and Schoenberg Tower. Pretty cool, can't wait to get to the top. So I think the earliest written documentation of this uh, cornerstone in the Fichtel Mountains, Grosse Kornberg, uh, was from 1317. It was known as the Mill Mountain, where uh, much granite was uh, harvested from. And uh, this particular tower uh, was built from wood originally, uh, multiple times, and destroyed multiple times. And I think this current structure was built in 1954. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. Get a chance to climb to the top. Alright, made it to the top. This viewpoint is about 2,750 feet above sea level. Now if you look close, you can see quite a few windmills uh, dot the landscape there.
two guys working on the tower right there. If you can see them. More windmills. Okay, so right over there is where I pedaled from, Mark Lighton. Cool, heading back. Yeah, going down's the fun part. Oh yeah, downhill's way better.